Hey guys, Codename Stealth here, and I decided to do a tutorial on how to make custom thumbnails. So, this is quick and easy, and I'm going to be using Pixlr for this tutorial. <laughs> Use the same tutorial. Okay, so what you do is, first of all, you have to have a YouTube account, and you've already maybe posted maybe at least one video. And then what you do is you go to YouTube settings. Um, you should see all this in your thing, and then you should go to view additional features. And then what you do is you have to get verified. So basically, there will be some stuff that would look like this. That means you can't click on it. So what you do is you click the verify button. I already got verified. Um, and then they should send you um, some a code. And then all you have to do is type that in, and then you're automatically verified. So uh, let me get out of here. Then you should go to your channel. I just do it just to make sure that it worked because sometimes it doesn't for some people I think but you go here you go to video manager and you just click on a video you have like you want to make a thumbnail with I already made a couple with Pixlr that look really cool and you should see something down here so there should be a couple thumbnails that YouTube's already automatically set for you and then you should see a button called make a custom customized thumbnail so I already made one for mine, but yeah, that's how it should look. And then you can start making your own thumbnails. But um, just for technical purposes, um, we're going to be going to Pixlr. And this is how you spell it. Pixlr <laughs> kind of has a funny little title to it. Then you go there. Should pop up. You have to sign up with your email. But um, it's all free, it's all safe, don't worry about that. It's kid friendly. I I've done it, so it's alright. No spamming here. And then all you gotta do is click Pixlr Editor. Then you go to Create New Image. Oop, the lag will stop. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in 1280 by 720. And that is the size of the YouTube pictures. Like before you click on the video, that's how that's the size of it and then you're gonna click um, if you're adding more than one photo I recommend clicking transparent I just do it anyways but um, then you can name it you can name it let's just call this um, we're gonna just call this thumbnail there we go and then what you do is good this is gonna pop up so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google images and let's say you want a background for this because you just don't want the, all those checkers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click in I don't know um, let's just do sunburst and here it is alrighty so oh and sometimes you will have to oh oops what in the world construction okay I didn't want that uh, let's go back <laughs> I think I clicked something accidentally alright so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click search tools just to make it easier then you're going to click exactly 1280 by 720, yada, yada, yada. And then boom. So then everything here is going to be this. So, uh, okay, let's just do this one. So we're going to click view image. It should take you here. Then you're going to do right click it, save image as. Then you can name it um, sunburst um, there then it should pop up right there you go back to Pixlr and then you go to file open image then you go sunburst and it should pop up right there and then you click open alright and then this should pop up so what you do is without clicking it or anything just do control A you should see this white rectangular thing pop up control C which is copy and then control V and paste it and then what you do is gonna have a layer right here so layer one is this and then let's say we want to add um, another picture into it so we're gonna go back like this is more for like if you wanna like stack layers um, and then you can add text so we're gonna just put in let's just put in a smiley face alrighty and um, Oh, I don't care any size. Any size should work. Um, 
then what you do, I recommend getting something smaller than the actual thing. So let's say you want um, this, yeah. Uh, what you do is you click it and you have to make sure it has a checkered background like this in the back. And then you're going to go do the same thing with this. And, oh yeah, okay. So I already got a decent name to it. I'm going to go back. Um, actually, what you do is you will delete this. Um, this is asking if you want to save it or something. Just click no. You don't really need it unless you want to save it. And then go back to file. You open the image. So that it's called 4chan. Okay, happy face PNG. I'm going to click control copy oh wait oops control a control copy <laughs> and then control paste and it should be right there and then this is what makes it bigger or smaller so hmm let's say and then this is to move it around so you make it big or small so we'll just put it right there for technical purposes and then what you do make it bigger you make it smelly, and then you do all that funky stuff. You do whatever you want with it, no. And, uh, hold on. I think I'm doing the wrong things with this. There we go. Yep. There we go. Then you can figure out the size you want. Oh. Uh-oh. Dang it. Ugh. Here, let's go back here. Move it around. Hey, what's going on? Okay, guys, well, don't worry about this. But what you do, actually, I just remembered, you don't do any of this, so you just go to the layer you want. So each layer is which one is, is the picture. So layer one is the background, and layer two is the smiley face. So to make it bigger or smaller, you zoom in, zoom out using this. And then, don't worry about all this stuff. But um, let's say, oh, really? Now you're doing this to me? But let's say you want to make the picture brighter, um, or one of the layers brighter. So maybe go to layer one again. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to, uh, I forget sometimes, guys. Just go with me here. Adjustment, brightness, and then you can change the brightness of the background. So let's say you want to have a contrast here. So we're going to go minus 80, maybe a little bit more contrast, and then boom. All right, so this is the cool part. This is the text. So we're going to call this, um, let's just call it, oops, thumbnail, um, put an exclamation point. And then what you do is um, you can change the size of it from and the color. So if you want it bright, you do that, click OK. That should pop up. Then to change the size, you go all the way like that, but I would recommend that. I may change it because there's already white there, but that looks actually pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you can um, you can do bold. So I like bold. That's what I usually do for mine. And let's say um, just to do something fancy, I don't know. Oh, actually, I like that. So let's actually pick a different color. So let's just do like, let's do a nice red. There we go, thumbnail. All right. And then you're going to click OK and it's going to pop in. And then you can use your tool here to move it around. And let's say maybe you want to move this around just a little bit more. And yeah, there you go. And then what you're going to do is, um, I don't really worry about all of that sort of stuff. That's if you want to get really fancy with it. But just to do something small like this, you're going to go to File, uh, Save. Uh, you're going to name it whatever you want. Go to put it as a PNG. And then click OK. Then yada, yada, yada. That's going to pop up. Oh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, and then you're going to go back to your YouTube channel. It's already been saved. Then you're going to go to, oops, Video Manager. Mm -hmm. Load up for me, baby. Load up. Okay. There we go. So let's say um, I already made a couple of thumbnails with this, but I don't know. I'm not really going to place it in, but this is just more for you guys. So the oh here is the video, and then what you do is you're gonna see this at the bottom after you've been verified and stuff. You're gonna click it, 
and then you're going to find your file name yada 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 and then you're going to click open and it should automatically be there and then all you got to do is click save changes go back possibly maybe um go to youtube again um and then come back to your video manager and it should have saved and that should have popped up so that was a quick and easy tutorial guys um let me know if you would like to see me do any more tutorials because this is actually my first one so please like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye